Well, Terry Walters is a pioneer in the clean eating movement, and she's also the best-selling cookbook and author, three books now. Uh, and she's here this morning to kind of help us to explain. So it is so nice to meet you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. This is a perfect timing because the beginning of the year, and we're all trying to really do our best. Um, but it's okay. always the perfect time to eat clean. Really, foods that come from the green kind of plant and not the processing plant. And it's okay. going to look different for everybody, but if we can get a rainbow of color mm -hmm. and all the tastes and the most nutrition, you know, if we can imagine how it grows, if we can translate it here, we're going to translate it here, and it's going right. to support our good health. Bringing the good, healthy foods in. I said to my daughter, there are no nuts, there's no refined sugar, there's no gluten, there's no dairy. And so she said, oh, there are no no bars. There are no no bars. And, and this is exactly what's in them. And, and I want to keep in mind that one of the things that makes these great for kids is not only that they're delicious, but that they're really easy to make. And I teach the kids a rainbow of color and all the taste, and I bring them to the farmer's market. And right. so now this way we have something that we can do with all those vegetables. I already know they love mac and cheese. Yes. So if I can make it with squash like we're going to do today, then it's a win-win. Add new foods to recipes they already love. Absolutely for anybody. If you have an entire plate of bitter kale in front of you, it's just a big expectation that you're going to like that, but if you take one leaf of kale and chop it up and add it to a soup you already love, then you're developing that taste slowly, and it doesn't matter how old you are. Doing it more slowly and experimenting and bringing them into foods you love is automatically going to make it an easier transition. Empower kids to make healthy choices by explaining. Right. Talk about eating the colors of the rainbow to get a good nutritional profile, eating all of the tastes, and knowing how the food grows. If you read something on a package and you can't understand it here, you're not going to translate it here. The kids love it. Absolutely delicious. You can add any nutritionals you want to it. So if you're an athlete and you want to add your protein powder, go Do right it. ahead. Yep. So the green smoothie is a great way to get the greens in. The salad is salad. one of my favorites, and that dressing is my kid's favorite. It's just raw carrot. It's actually my carrot cake recipe, and sometimes I make it as a whole cake, and sometimes I make it as muffins, but it's got teff flour and coconut flour, not much more than a cup of flour for the whole recipe, high protein, sweetened with pineapple, so almost no refined sugar at all. Delicious food, minimally processed, so we can get the maximum nutrition. Okay, and what are we making that's clean? We're going to make a macaroni and cheese and instead of cheese we're going to use butternut squash okay and michael what kind of eater are you do you are you do you have what kind of eater are you a vegetarian i eat or? all i eat everything and anything i think it's going to be what kind of eater will you be after this segment uh, i'll be a very clean eater <laughs> I, i've become i'm a very clean eater <laughs>